Hi everybody, welcome to Cake Test at Cakes. We're gonna make a buttercream icing camo cake today. Are you ready? This is just the cake, it's not the decorations. That'll come later. All right, I started out with a regular old cake. I made a square cake, uh, covered it in buttercream icing and I stuck it in the fridge. While it was cooling and setting up and everything else like that, I made a batch of buttercream icing Regular stuff, nothing fancy. It was just butter, powdered sugar, vanilla, and cream. Uh, and I made four colors out of it. I made the green, black, dark brown, light brown. And to make the camouflage pattern, I took the cake out of the fridge and I just started piping blobs. As you can see, I did the dark brown and the black already and I'm showing you how I filled in the green. I fill it in really thick and just start making the squiggly lines all over. You know, there's no rhyme or reason to it. You just fill it in however you see fit. All right, I, I showed you the green. Uh, here I am show, uh, filling it in with the light brown, the beige color. And again, it's just whatever is open, just start filling it in. Make sure you fill it in pretty thick because eventually you're go um, we're gonna try to smooth it down to blend the color so it doesn't look like piles of nasty dog poo all over the cake. And uh, you need it thick in order to press it down and smooth it out. I'm gonna show you the attempts I made and how successful I was with them. You know, do the best you can. It's kind of tough. If you guys know a better way, I'd love to hear it. So, okay, after I filled in the cake, you saw it there, I stuck it in the fridge for a while. So again, it could chill up and everything. I took it out and I'm using wax paper and a fondant spreader to try to smooth it all out. I just laid it on top and I'm pressing down pretty, pretty hard in order to try to smush it all and get rid of all the lumps. And as you can see, now it looks like smushed doggy poo. <laughs> it really didn't work all that well. And my wax paper, even though my buttercream icing was chilled, it still kind of stuck and pulled a little bit more than I expected. So yeah, I was kind of having a hard time with this one. I know other people will use uh, fondant and that is so much easier, but I was specifically asked to not do fondant on this cake. And I was like, oh yeah, sure, I could totally do that. So yeah, I ended up with a dog do looking thing. I found that this worked better. I'm using my hand, and of course my hand being warm is kind of melting the icing a little bit. And that really got rid of the creases and everything that were left behind from the fondant spreader. Like the fondant spreader got everything at least to the same level or thickness. But my hand over top afterwards really got rid of the ridges. Like you can see... It's all prickly from the wax paper, but at least it's smoother. So again, I just ended up going over the whole darn thing. I went over it once with the fondant spreader and then again with my hand just to kind of finish it off. Um, I don't know why or what you could do to keep the wax paper from sticking. I don't know if it would have worked better if I had kept it in the fridge longer. Maybe use a nonstick spray on the wax paper first. I don't know. All right, this is attempt number three right here. I got a nice clean spatula and I just started petting the sections of buttercream and making them smooth. And I gotta say, this worked really well. It got rid of the little prickles that the wax paper left behind and it really smoothed it out nicely. So yeah, keep this in mind. I don't know how many steps are normally required to make a camo cake, but I'm at step number three here. I'm using the spatula to smooth off the edges. Make sure you wipe it clean in between each use. And like right there, I should have cleaned it between each color, but I didn't. So you're gonna see where the cake is kind of smeared here and there where I just dragged it across. Don't do that, don't drag it across. <laughs> to each color separate and wipe it clean between each time. If you don't have a spatula like this, I'm sure if you use the back of a spoon or a butter knife, you'll make it work. So now I'm using the fondant spreader again. I'm just trying to smooth off the edges. The corners I long gave up on. They, they were not coming back to me. <laughs> My square cake was more square-ish cake. I'm just trying to smooth off the corners. So clean it up as best you can. Clean off the edge of your board. You know, if you, I just wiped it off with a paper towel. And then decorate it and you'll hide your mistakes anyway. So there, it looks pretty good, right? Thank you for watching. Please check out my other videos. If you guys make anything you want me to show it off, send it to me. I'd love to see it. Thank you very much. Bye.